in any kind of non-contact current sensor. The output is an analog of the measured current. The output connects directly to a PLC, a panel meter, a SCADA system, or to some other data acquisition device. Point to note is that non-contact current transducers avoid the dangers associated with current transforms. Specifically, large dangerous voltages can appear on the secondary of a current transformer under certain circumstances. Non-contact AC and DC current transducers use the idea that for a given current flow, there's a proportional magnetic field produced around the current carrying conductor. For measuring DC and AC currents, the technique might use Hall effect sensing, a Rogowski coil, or other type of toroid or flux gate technology. All these techniques basically use the principle of induction to sense current. To get an idea of how these current sensors work, consider a typical Hall effect sensor. Here, a wire carrying the DC current goes through a magnetically permeable core. The core is there to concentrate the wire's magnetic field. The Hall effect device sits in the core cross section at a right angle to the concentrated magnetic field. A constant current in the wire passing through the core excites the Hall device. When the energized Hall effect device is exposed to a magnetic field from the core, it produces a voltage that can be measured and amplified. Inductive sensing for measuring current works a bit differently. It also has a core, but the core has windings. The wire carrying AC current passes through the core and, as in the case of DC current sensors, the core magnifies the wire's magnetic field caused by the current flow. AC current constantly changes potential from positive to negative and back again, generally at the rate of 50 or 60 hertz. The expanding and collapsing magnetic field induces current in the windings. The windings send the current to signal conditioning circuitry. Inductive transducers are easy to install, partly because they often require only two wires and are either self-powered or loop-powered. Hall effect transducers are generally three or four wire devices and need a separate power supply. Most non-contact current transducers are available with solid or split cores. To handle different ranges of currents, the typical transducer has jumper-selectable ranges. Typical transducer ranges are 0 to 2 amps up to 0 to 2,000 amps, with apertures of a half an inch to more than 3 inches. Finally, there are many other models which are termed current switches or relays. These are also one-piece current sensors, but rather than an analog output signal, they provide contacts which change state at certain amounts of current. Some are designed with self-powered solid-state contacts, and others provide relay outputs, which will usually require an external power source to operate the relay coil. 